Hello, welcome to uh, introduction to GS programming uh, course. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install all the commonly used uh, geospatial uh, Python packages that uh, we're going to use uh, in, this, in this course. So previously, I have uh, covered how to install the packages using uh, Mamba or Conda uh, in the second video here. And some of you were having issues with uh, Conda or Mamba. So in this video, I'm going to show you another way of installing all the packages. And it's called a new Python package called uh, manager called UV. So on the left side here, go to under GeoPython number nine, uh, get things started. So this is a new uh, section that I just edited uh, yesterday. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. And the package manager we're going to use is called uh, UV. So UV is an uh, extremely fast Python uh, package uh, and project manager uh, written in Rust. And it's a job in replacement for PIP. So basically anywhere you use PIP, you can use uh, UV. If you want to learn more, you can go to the UV uh, GitHub repository. So this is an uh, open source uh, Python package. It's really, really super fast. So I have only been using it for the past two days and I'm really, really impressed. Uh, impressed. So I'm gonna show you how to use this, uh, how to install this one on the computer. If you're on uh, Mac or Linux, uh, you use the copy, the, open your terminal and copy this one, hit enter, uh, for it. I'm on uh, Windows. So again, I'm going to copy this one, control C. Then you can open your terminal. Just type terminal, uh, first it, and then uh, after that, you see by default is activating my conda environment. I don't need it. just conda deactivate, then just control V, enter. It should install this one to a computer. So it's a very tiny uh, package, right? Uh, written using Rust, but it is super super fast. As uh, you see here, uv.exe, uvx, everything. So then you can close it. So after that. Uh, the second uh, step is to clone this one to a computer. So clone the entire uh, course repository. So I'm going to go to my Git repository and just copy this URL, click the green button. And then you can come to your uh, Windows File Explorer. I'm going to go to my uh, downloads directory and just open in terminal. Then you just git clone. So you have your previously cloned, then you, you don't need to clone, clone again. You can just uh, git pull. So for me, I'm just going to clone uh, this entire one. And after that, uh, you, is, you should see this one on your computer, right? So what you can do here is to uh, CD into the G, uh, Geo 312 directory. Again, just contact deactivate. Uh, doesn't mess up your environment. UV package manager. So after that, uh, look at on the left side. Right now, there's two directories and a bunch of other files. So we're going to use UV to create a new contact in, uh, uh, virtual environment. Just type UV. V E M V. So just one simple command on the left side here. Take a look. Uh, now we have this V uh, dot E M V, and it has been automatically activated, so we don't need to activate it again. And after that, just U V pip install uh, geospatial. So if you forget, you can always uh, come to the course website here and scroll down. Install uh, geospatial. For example, U V V E M V create a virtual environment. Similar to the Conda virtual environment, and um, you don't need to activate it because it's automatic activated. Then just install this one, UV pip install geospatial, and just hit enter. So it's going to take a couple minutes. The first time it's going to download uh, all the packages. So uh, 400, you see here, 445, uh, five, 455 uh, Python packages. And it's going to downloading, so just be patient. But nice thing about this is keeping all the case. Uh, for those downloaded packages. So next time, if you need to create a new Honda environment, it's actually super fast. So right now on my computer, you see it's resolving all the dependencies. And because I'm recording the video, so it's uh, slow right now. But on the computer, just wait for it to finish downloading all the packages. Uh, packages. Then it's going to basically put all everything within here. And uh, again, you wait for a couple seconds or minutes, and then it should be done. And after that, you is Everything will be installed into the uh, virtual environment. Then we can start using that uh, using um, uh, VS Code to start running all the source. So uh, just again, just be patient. This might take a couple minutes, five to ten minutes, depends on your uh, internet and also your computer. But once it's installed, you only have all the packages. So this is called Geospatial. Uh, this is another package that I created. Uh, that's basically just one command line you can install. All pretty much all the common uh, uh, geospatial uh, packages. If there's any particular package that you want to use but it's not available there, uh, not on the list, 
so we're going to submit uh, an issue and um, I will incorporate that but the the package need to be uh, supported on multiple platforms for example Windows Mac and Linux after that um, pip, uh, UV pip install geospatial and then you will have all the packages again it's going to say preparing uh, and then oh, we're almost there so although we have only just installed one package installing 455 because every package is built on top of some others so basically it's built uh, upon the shoulder of others and you see it's done so now we have this already installed if you click the lib and then inside packages so we have pretty much everything here so these are all the packages that we have installed if you want to check it you can just type uv run python so this one basically is using the uh, interactive command of that uh, it might take a couple seconds uh should not be too long but alternatively you can just using uh, open vs code so go to the home directory uh, here and then just right click show all and then open in vs code because we have a lot, a lot of notebooks uh, under this uh, repository so now we can actually run any notebook we like so click this book and geospatial so uh, maybe geopandas right so just double click open the notebook uh, on the right and then after that you can select the select the kernel so if this is the first time that you are installing packages uh, then you can use, uh, in, use the virtual in, um, um, environment that we just created so again detecting kernel uh, is still running let's wait for this one to finish again i'm recording the video so it's kind of a little bit slow but hopefully it okay so done then select kernel and then python environment it's going to automatically uh, show up this one right dot venv scripts dot python to eat. so this is the new version environment that we just created if you have previously used mamba you can that uh, if you want so i can click this one so now we have this new environment and from there then you should be able to just click this one again it might take a couple seconds for the first time but after that <coughs> uh, it should be pretty fast so this is how we can create um watching environment very very easily you can also switch environment so you can actually create uh, many many new uh, uh, python environments so for example i can go to so by default this one is create uh, environment using uh, a 3.12 so here i can create another one for example i can name a new folder so maybe just call test right so inside here i can do the same thing i can create new environment so this one now should be much faster because earlier when we uh, create uh, the uh, go the geospatial python package all the packages have been based on your computer so it you will not need to download again and this is why it's super fast so i'm going to contact deactivate so now you can create a new contact environment uh, using different versions so uv um, v emv and then um so this this python 3.11 for example so by default it's going to be 312 but you can create a new environment so here uh, it's going to download the first time if you uh um it's the first time it's going to download the version but after that you don't need to. i'm going to show you uh shortly after this one is finished then we can do the same thing we can install any packages uh, it's going to be much much faster so let's see if this one is uh, still running usually it should not take that long if i'm not recording the video uh, taking much risk and if you want to learn more about uh uv again you can go to the repository here and uh, upper right this one take you to the website there are tons of resources in here it's pretty comprehensive so if you want to learn more you can try this one out it's very powerful uh, for today i'm just going to show you the those creating the environment and then install package but there are a lot more you really want to i'm good at coding okay so let me go back to this one so right now this is python point um 11 and again you can just uv keep so so for example i can just go leaf map and downloading oh no it's just preparing so it's actually you downloading usually it should not download again anyway uh, but all the environment that we created is basically isolated so you don't need to it doesn't interfere with your other python environment for example your contact environment and others and after that you can just um use you can create as much as many virtual environment as you want so different Python versions, 3.11, 3.12, or even uh, 3.13. Uh, so 
So after this one is done, I can show you like how do you activate the, uh, you can write the Python environment and you can just hold uh, those packages. Go make to here. Okay, it's done. You see, now it works. And I can just run this one. You see, everything should be working. Active. Uh, then you don't need to install all the packages one by one. If you have previously installed using the GeoSpatial, uh, using Mamba, you're good to go. But if you're having issues with that, then now this is a better way of installing all the packages. So you we one Python. So right now this is to be 3.11. And you can, for example, import if map. After a couple of seconds, um, it's so again, this is you can open any notebook you like and just select again dot vemv. So this is the environment that we just get it. Oh, anyway, so this is how you can uh, install all the commonly used uh, geospatial packages using UV. Okay, it's done here. So now you see it works. In that way, you don't need to install all the packages one by one because use a lot of geospatial packages in here and you can just use one single command line using the UV package manager. And it doesn't have to be geospatial, you can install any packages like just UV pip install. So activate that uh, UV environment, there's just UV pip install, then uh, you're good to go. So it's usually much faster than using Honda or yeah. Okay, so that's all for this uh, video. I will see you in the next one.